Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Vasila Built for Speed. Today we got pretty good thing going. Let me show you. This is what the video is gonna be about right here. This bad boy. Um this is a mud unlock device. This device it has a US, USB type C right there port, and then it has OBD2 hookup to your car. This is for Volvos. I believe it's a P2s, P3s. This is major upgrade for P3s because there's not much stuff out there for the P3s to read, write, and log the P3. So you're gonna be able to read out your car, you're gonna be able to flash your car, and you're gonna be able to log your car with this device um, paired with either your laptop or your cell phone. I will show you guys how to use it with a laptop because that's how I used it and it's a little easier for me. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Basically, I'm going to do basic uh, how to use steps. There's uh, how to update it and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll get into that later. Okay, first things first. I don't know why they put this upside down. The thing is about this device is like the, the screen is like this. The button is right here. Uh, but the sticker is upside down. Like, bro. That's one thing I, I wish I would have put up. It just messes with my head a little bit. Anyways, here. So you start it up. Uh, you basically, you just plug it in. I mean, sorry. You don't touch nothing in the car. You don't have to turn the car on, nothing. And then it just powers up to the start menu. You just press button. Now you have an option to decode, to get the ECU code, which I recommend. And I think that's what you need to do first. That's what I had to do. So I did decode it. And then the next menu is flash and then log. So let's let's go with the, well, the code is pretty easy. So you basically short press, so you quick press, it switches, as you can see, it, there's a line underline, and it switches between each selection. If you wanna select something, you have to long press. So let's say I wanna go flash first. So just go short press to get to the next one, and then I just press and hold it right there. And then you see Denso, Denso Petrol, that's our P3 one. The next ones are ME7 2005 Plus and then up to 2005. So I'm guessing those are S60s and basically Volvos be older Volvos. So I'm going to go back to the Denso that's mine, which is Denso Petrol. And then long press again. And then T2, I think that's for the Polestars. So not the actual R designs, but actual Polestars. Uh, the Denso regular one is mine, the T2, I believe B6304, T, mine is the T4, and this is a T2. T2 is the Polestar uh, version of the of this vehicle, the Polestar engineered one. So this is the one I select here, and then you select Denso again, and then it tells you, what you it asks you what you want to do. Do you want to read out the actual what the tune file on the vehicle? You want to do backup, you want to backup a file onto this device, so you have a backup, which is highly, which I highly recommend if you have a file on there that's good, you want to back it up. Or if you want to recover from the backup on this device and flash it to the car. And then the next one down here is write, if you want to write it to the car. So when you press write, it's, let's say I'll show you guys right now, I'm not going to do it, but uh, I'm just going to show you, you click right, you long press, and it's going to ask you, is is backup bin for this ECM? So the backup bin that you have on this device saved, it's going to ask you if it's for this device, for, for I mean for this ECU in this car. If it is, you click yes, and it, it will continue flashing, because if it's not, you don't want to continue. So I'm just going to go back to this arrow right here and then long press so we can go back because I don't want to flash it because I just wanted to show you guys. And let's go down here too, go back again. And then now we're back to decode, flash and log. Okay, so quick update what I want, what I did. I plugged in my USB type C, which you want to use a good cable and then USB to the to the laptop and then as you can see here I have pulled up let me make this bigger right here so you have the ECU log parameter so this is the parameters logs that I have uh, set the actual what, what I want the card to log this is the actual logs which I don't have anything right now here 
and then right here I have a backup file which is named backup pin status and then write so the how do you flash a file so you just basically can drag the file onto into this folder into this uh, right here and then you click on it and you just basically write write on it so you basically are writing a command boom just like that make sure it says write so that way when you go to plug it into the car and you go click write it has a file under that name so you will know what to do you will know that's the file you want to write to the car backup same thing if you want to recover a backup file from this device which is right here when you click backup recover it will know which file to grab and flash to the car so that's basically what you have there so anyways i decided to show you actually how i do this so i have the car is off so you can see i plugged it in boom and it says decode flash log so i'm gonna go to flash boom and then denso petrol which is for the p3 mine is regular denso and then read backup or write and i'm just gonna go to write that's what i was talking about when you when you're on the on the computer on the laptop you want to make sure you name your file right so when you press right here the this device knows what which file you want flashed on this vehicle this is basically the most the basic way I can explain this to you guys uh, because I want this to be as basically as user friendly as possible so let's long press that basically so you short press so you just click fast and it will switch between read back up right and then there's an arrow to go back okay boom turned on and then I go to flash denso petrol denso and then I'm going to go to right, boom, and then it asks me, is this the backup bin? It's for this ECM, and I'm going to say yes, that is. I created a backup for this car, and now it's waiting for the ECM, and now it's writing. So it's erasing the current file on the ECU, ECM, and it's going to start writing the new file on there. <clears throat> That's just as easy, as simple as that. now it's loading so now you just basically leave it here until it finishes it's kind of difficult to basically come up with uh, step by step directions how to use this I'm gonna try to kind of uh, explain it from my point of view if you guys have any questions comment comments below I will do my best to answer them like I said you can message me on my Instagram or you can access uh, you can go to my Facebook page message me there the build for speed uh, uh, Facebook page so and I'll do my best to answer them like I said and Matt that is the developer for of this um, device he, I'm sure you can message him too he'll answer your questions and he'll try to help you the best he can uh, but once you figure this device out it's so easy to use I'm telling you guys this is worth every penny you can read write um, files you can read out your file send it to anybody around the world and then they can send you one back you download it onto this device again so flash it and then log it for them send them the log basically you're free you're not locked to one tuner uh you can actually read the ride you know the your vehicle and send logs to anybody out there because there's a lot of people that know how to tune you know uh these cars but they do not have any remote devices that they use that they can actually read out your car for you and flash it log all that stuff so this is definitely revolutionary for Volvos. This is a huge, huge progress step. So that's why I'm taking my time to actually make a video on this. I'm not sponsored by them. I just got, I got this device. Like I said, I'm not getting paid to make this video. I'm just making it because I'm telling you, this is going to be huge for the Volvo community. This is so simple and easy to use. It doesn't take a lot of brains. It's just a little bit of tinkering around to figuring out how to use it. But that's it. I like it every other uh, file or device or i guess uh, program that i use it's a lot more complicated than this this is very simple and basically this right here is now just showed me that it finished it finished log i mean flashing it goes back to this menu and yeah your ignition turns on and i didn't even turn it on before as you saw i'm gonna turn it back off and you just unplug it and that's it 
Okay, now for the loggers. We go into the file where it says ECU log parameters. If your if this thing is up to date, updated, you should have that file. So you go log parameters, and let's say I'm logging Rika file. I can just basically click on it like that. Name it Rika. Click OK. Now I have Rika MUF, and I will show you guys where it will show up in this later. So you gotta go back, and then here after you log each time it will show up in here so once you have a log or two it will show that each log will show up in this in this uh, folder right here so like I said this is a backup right status the pin code of this vehicle and then yeah that's for logging okay so I have the car running now and then we're at the start menu let's quick press and then go quick press quick press in here and then just select that and then see right here it says Rika remember when I named it on the laptop Rika so now you just long press it boom and do you want to start logging now again long press yes boom and it's loading parameters now it's logging so once so let's log it for a few seconds run the car basically log the car for say for a bit right there now let's say I want to stop so basically you just quick press and then now it says ECU logging ended and then let's press it again boom so let's say I want to do it again let's say I just uh, driving driving and then I want to log it again click again see it's back to the menu decode flash log ECU log you long press the logging click Rika again start logging now yes boom loading ECU parameters waiting for the ECM boom started logging again and I will show you guys what it does in the actual laptop when I hook it up to the laptop I will show you how it renames the files but now I'm gonna have two log files so let's say boom stop logging ended press it again boom back to the menu so now I'm gonna unplug it and I'm gonna plug it into the laptop. I know it'll be hard to see, but let's see. Right now, we're this is the log parameters that we named Rika. And then let's go ECU logs. See that? It says Rika, Rika one. Let's click on the one of the loggers. Oh, it doesn't want to open. Anyways, I'm gonna open it with a different. Um, viewer log viewer but basically these are your two logs the csv files so that's basically my two logs that i just logged it just names it rika and then rika dash one if you press it again you can log it again it says rika dash two and that's basically what it does and you can have all your logs in one file so yeah that's basically it um maybe i'll figure out a way to do a more in-depth video i don't know i mean how to like update this this device i will include in the description um in the description of uh my video here i will include the link to the channel of matt matt's channel uh mod unlock youtube channel he has some videos how to use this device also so i'll include that i'll also include a link uh where you guys can um, basically choose the M M A M U F parameters um and then also you can uh, where you can update the this device and stuff like so i will just include different um links to this device or under this uh, description of this video so that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys have any questions comments comment comments below i'll do my best to answer them but this is just a basic overview of this i want it to be on the channel if at some point uh i guess i can plan out a video you know somehow to kind of break everything down more in depth like how to do the update and all that stuff even though you can probably find it on matt's mud unlock channel that i will include under my uh description of my, in, in the description of this video uh so uh, you guys can go check it out there or if you guys want me to do it i can do it too i can just plan it out it'll be a little bit longer video and it's gonna be something i need to plan for so this one is just something to get it out there so people know that there's a device like this it's fairly simple if you have any kind of tuning experience or not necessarily tuning like just reading and flashing and logging if you have any kind of experience if not it's fairly easy if you invest a little bit of time it's fairly easy to figure out uh, it took me a little bit to figure it out but 
uh, after you figure it out it's very easy very simple to use uh, like I said this guy this video should help you guys uh, there wasn't really a video that was showing like you know how to flash decode uh, um, backup or log that type of thing there wasn't a video that explained all these steps if I seen something like I'm making right now I probably would have figured it out right away but it, it took a little bit of time for me to figure it out kind of Matt was being great you know messaged me everything he, I asked him a bunch of dumb questions <laughs> but uh, he was nice enough to answer them for me and yeah he helped me figure it out and after I got it sorted it was easy so again thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel as usual hit the like button subscribe and um, see you next time